the case. Yeah. Are you up for a little uh, truck tire test? Yeah? What are we doing? So last week Andre and I did a snowy drag race where we compared all-wheel drive with all seasons versus two-wheel drive with all seasons. Right. But how about we do this? How about we compare two trucks with two different kinds of tires? Yeah, well we just got 10 inches here in Boulder. Hey, let's go check out what kind of tires uh, our new Ranger has. Yeah, so um, definitely all terrains, ATs. Now let's go see what Stubby has. We can compare that. And the way that Andre and I did it was we basically went to the trailhead and we lined the two vehicles up and did a drag race up the hill. Right. Uh, and then we compared how good the stopping distance was, running them down the hill and hitting our brakes at 25 miles an hour yeah. and seeing which one stops shorter. Because accelerating is nice, but if you can't slow back down, it's not going to do much for you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and you can see just how much snow we got because we haven't cleared off Stubby yet. No, we haven't cleared off Stubby yet. What? <laughs> can we even get him out of here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to be test number one. But yeah, this looks to be more of an all season, so a less aggressive tire. Four wheel drive system is identical, right? Yeah, exactly. The four wheel drive system works the same way. And I mean, you're suggesting a drag race. I'm always up for a drag race. All right, well, first we gotta, you know what? Yeah, yeah we'll probably bust out the uh, snow scraper so that we don't have to do it all bare hand. But this is crazy, actually. The snow that we got yeah. is this really wet, heavy snow because it's not actually that cold out. Should we do a little time lapse clear in the truck? Yeah, do a little time lapse. But before we do that, there's one question that I have to ask you. Uh, pick your uh, pick your weapon. Do you want uh, the full size half ton or do you want the mid size compact truck? Well, I drive a white Ram most of the time anyway, so I might as well stick with the same kind of thing. All right, so you take the full size truck. I'll take the mid size truck. Uh, and you know, weight wise, they're a little different. But since this is a two-door short bed. I'm, yeah. I'm not sure that there's that much difference in weight. Between yeah, the tires two. are going to make the majority of the difference. difference. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's do some time lapse. Go for it, dude. So it's finally time to sell our Porsche 944 Turbo, and we're doing it over at TFLbids.com. We recently sold someone's super clean Dakota, and this week is this fantastic 2.5 liter turbocharged 944 Turbo in really nice shape. We've had it for some time now. We've had a lot of fun with it, but now time to pass it on to one of you. Check it out over at TFLbids.com. By the way, Case, is uh, snow drag racing a thing or are we making it a thing? <laughs> we might be making it a thing. Yeah. I Colorado is our thing and we get a lot of snow. Look, let's face We're it. We're not going to stop drag racing. This is not the most scientific way to show the difference between all seasons and all terrains, but there are plenty of other channels that are doing it in a much more scientific way. We're doing it in a much more, let's call it, entertaining way. How about that? Yeah, we're not scientists. We're guys with trucks. Exactly. We want Perfect. to see what happens if we line them up and match the <laughs> throttle. Exactly. The rest we'll leave to the scientists out there. Uh, Case, we got a problem. We're here at our trailhead and unfortunately uh, down the road where we usually would drag race, uh, they decided to uh, plow it. Yeah, it looks like they might be doing construction, so unfortunately we're not the only ones that decide to come here. That's a problem. That's a problem. We can't really uh, drag race on a plowed dirt road. No. Um, so what do you want to do? I say yeah. we go to the ranch because we've got a wide berth, yeah. and there we can do the exact same tests in a controlled environment. Weren't you going to take the uh, TW200 to the ranch and try yeah. it in the snow? If you want to see what it's like to ride a motorcycle in the yeah, snow. Yeah, the snow, you can Tune go in the TFL bike. Yeah, TFL bike or all TFL. But before we do that, uh, I feel like with this beautiful weather and this great snow, we should just get some like cool action shots of snow flying off the truck. So how about this? How about, I'm going to go down there, you know, that, that, that rest of that dirt road. Yeah. Uh, and let's get some slow motion stuff of like the truck plowing, you know, like, like, let's a, do it. like a Ram or a Ford commercial. Yeah, let's give them some action. Let's give them some action.
So uh, what do you do on a bike with this? What's, what's the plan? Well, the TW200 is kind of famous for its big balloon tires. Yeah. So we're going to ride it in the snow. We've ridden motorcycles in the snow up at the ranch before, but that was on skinny tires and a little Trail 125. So, yeah, we're going to see if this can just float right through the powder. That'll be fun. Yeah, I think uh, so. Yeah, better you than me. <laughs> My friends is why you want a stubby truck because it's got a short cab but a heavy duty full-size bed so that's six and three quarters yeah it's got a longer bed and the nice thing about this stock truck is that it's low to the ground yeah all right well up there case is our finish line because yeah. we made it up here to the ranch and we got fresh snow yeah and honestly i think that unfortunate happening of our trailhead being busy is the best thing that could have happened because this looks like a perfect snow drag race setting yeah except we do have the gopher holes yeah i think we've got enough ground clearance to both of us to straddle them all right so uh tommy's at the finish line over there he's gonna film it with his camera yeah but let's do three tests okay yeah the first one is a drag race but to make it interesting let's do it in two-wheel drive <laughs> You want to try and get up this hill yeah, in two-wheel yeah. drive? Yeah. All, All right. right. All right. Two I don't think drive. it's going to go well. <laughs> anyway, that's a real test of the tires, right? Yeah. Then if that doesn't work, we'll do it in four-wheel drive. Okay. So two separate races. Yes. Yeah. If the, if the two-wheel drive doesn't work. It won't. Then we'll do, on the steepest part of the hill, a brake test. Right. Okay. See how well they actually stop. And then finally, how about a tug of war? Let's do it. All right. All right, Case. Are you ready? I would say so. I mean, I'm... Traction control off and I am in two-wheel drive, begrudgingly. Well, I'm in sport mode two-wheel drive with traction control off. I'll go three, two, one, go, okay? Sounds good, let's see how far we can make it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. This is not going well. <laughs> All right, the mighty ranger <laughs> is taking the day because Case is stuck. <laughs> I'm a ranger with it, but a landslide. Yeah, well, by the entirety of the course, I can't get up this hill. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's try again, this time in four-wheel drive, okay? Now, the cool part is we are both lined up on gopher holes. <laughs> That makes it even, and you're not driving in the ruts that you dug on the last run, so it should be a fair test. Hey, so are you in four-wheel drive, go for a hole ahead of us, and ready to go? I am all set up. All right, three, two, one, go. Here goes the go for hole. It's close. It's really close. <laughs> that was great. I took you by nose. Yeah, that was actually a really close race. But you were just ahead of me the whole time. All right, I'm going to try one more thing. Uh, let's do one more. I'm going to lock my rear diff. Well, this sounds like cheating, but we might as well. All right, let's do it one more time. Okay, three, two, one, go. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Same thing, beat you by a nose. Yeah, the locker really wasn't that big of an advantage. Oh, uh, well, all right, let's do the second one now. Yeah. All right, Case, um, I put a little uh, ratchet strap in the middle of the tow rope so that way we'll know which one of us uh, pulled the other truck. Yeah, that's the official TFL center marker for the strap. 
and then I put a little basketball and soccer ball next to it so we know exactly how much we pulled it. Now, for this... Well, for any tug of war, the weight of your vehicle makes a big difference, and my truck is just a hair over 4,700 pounds. What about yours? It's uh, 4,600 pounds. Okay, so they're actually more similar than I would have expected. All right, I'm ready. Let me turn my traction control off. And I'm ready to go. How about you? I'm ready. Let's do this. Same thing. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. I think that's all she wrote, dude. Yeah, I mean, even as I let off the gas and your tires were still spinning, I think these trucks just dug down through the snow and they don't want to give. Well, we definitely found some dirt, didn't we? Yeah, we definitely did find some dirt. We'll do the official, let's let, let this down. Not the most scientific, no, but that's, that's okay. But it worked. So if you look, right, here's the bottom. Yeah. So you 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 went about. Uh, I'll take it. About two inches. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're even. Probably, if we want to total everything up, the Ranger did better. But there's still a chance for you to at least tie, and that is That's the true. braking test. Braking test. All right. Uh, I, I say we go big hill. Yeah. Come up over the big hill by the uh, blind. Yeah. <laughs> Sniper hill. Uh, and then hit your brakes and see how far you go down that hill. We want to hit our brakes at the fence post. Cause that's where Tommy Tommy has been doing his braking test. 25 miles per hour, hit the brakes when you pass the fence post. Yeah, sounds good. Let's and go then up. we'll mark it with the soccer ball. <laughs> the official soccer ball <laughs> and the basketball. Ball, yeah. All right, cool. All right. I'm impressed by those all seasons, actually. Yeah, that's not bad. That's yeah, not bad, yeah. All right, Case, I am at the top of Sniper Hill. I'm going to hit 25 miles an hour. And when I get to the fence post line, I'm going to slam on my brakes. Sounds good. I have the marking device handy so we can mark exactly where you stop. Full on braking, full on braking. That was 25. ABS, clattering, full on braking, hit those fence posts at exactly 25 and a half. I'm going to go. Man, uh, from the exterior of the truck, it was hard to tell that you were using the brakes at all. Yeah, I was. Uh, so um, let's set the uh, official tee up on basketball marker and see if the uh, Ram with the All Seasons can do better. Perfect. Same settings as before. Traction control off. In four wheel drive. We'll see if this Ram, which is slightly, slightly heavier, then the Ranger can stop any quicker. Yeah, Tommy, uh, using his marching band steps, said that it's 144 feet. Uh, and he says his marching band steps are right on. Sounds good. I'm going for it. Wow, that was... Uh, well, Tommy, you want to march it off? How many feet shorter that was? That was 35 feet shorter. Wow. That's pretty good. Yeah, that is pretty good. Did the wheels lock up at all? No. No, no? ABS was going. Yeah, so uh, what have we proved here? Yeah, not, not much. much. <laughs> I think we've proved that you get like a foot of snow <laughs> and two trucks and you can have a hell of a great time. Yeah. And actually, I would say, look, unless you get like all-terrain uh, tires that are snow rated, right? Yeah. With the, or all seasons that are snow rated, it really doesn't make a much of a difference. No, not really. But what we did prove is that if you have two trucks and some land and some snow, you can have a lot of fun with your buddies. Yeah, exactly. And you know what the, the thing is, right? Like snow tires, the compound is much softer. Yeah. So at below 40 degrees, they don't turn into hockey pucks, which is what happens to both of these tires. All right, well, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, go to alltfl.com if you want to see uh, Case trying to ride a motorcycle in this. That, that <laughs> I'm going to be really interested in seeing Case. Yeah, I'm interested to see how it goes too. So that's up next. Don't 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 like bury your head in a gopher hole. <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs>